Hey Guardians, your main man Sly here coming at you with some Destiny love. This time, I want to go over the mission Cade Stash. One thing I am absolutely geeking out over this time is the new element in Destiny involving these hidden areas, objectives, secrets, and weapons. I posted a video a week or so ago stating that I bet the raid is just getting started. I think more rooms and areas will open up once we explore a bit more, and just yesterday, a group of Guardians found a secret room in the second major jumping puzzle, right before the Daughters of Oryx, and I'll try to get out a video about that as soon as I can. But just like secret stuff in the raid, story missions receive the same treatment. Cade Stash and Lost of Light are two great examples of this. Okay, so let's jump in the mission and take a look at not only the secret room available to explore, but a few easter eggs as well. I'm just going to show you everything I know about the goodies in this mission. So first on the list is a dead ghost. It's right after you scan Dead Sepix Prime. Head through the vault doors and right before the elevator, kill the spawning taken and then look to the ceiling. You'll see a dead ghost on a metal rack, chillaxing somewhere on the middle bar. It's some Saint 14 lore, so check it out when you have the time. Head on up the rickety elevator, and dead ghost number two is at the very, very top. So after you've shaken off the vertigo, look to the bridge door on the right side. You'll see an old computer with one of Cade's trademarks, a royal face card. I'll show you why he leaves these later on in the video. If any of you were lucky enough to snag the deeply mysterious collector's edition, then you will instantly recognize these cards from the packet of stuff inside the book, right on top of the strange coin. Here's a picture. Pretty nifty, right? So, make your way past the death trap of a bridge and fight yourself some fallen and a couple of well-placed taken peeps. There are some hilarious YouTube videos of people being flung off the side of the colony ship, so watch your step and more importantly, kill the Taken Shield guys, they suck. So after you cleared your way up, stop right before you enter the Bungie 2.0 grav lift. Do not use it yet. Look to your left and you'll notice two vents right above you. Either pull out your ghost or what I like to do is just hit the ghost button twice really fast. It will send out a pulse without you having to wait to pull out your little homie, put him back again and then repeat. This way you can just scan the area really fast. So notice that the two vents kind of scan differently. Let's shoot them and see what happens. Hey, you found one of my secret rooms. Good times. Help yourself to the glimmer, but leave the exotics for me. When I get out of this tower, <laughs> I was schoolgirl giddy when I heard Glimmer and Exotics, but it was a letdown. You know, I love the extra storytelling, though. This is a big step in the right direction, if you ask me. Anyways, the only scannable object in here is your second Easter egg card. It gives you a little backstory on why he places cards, so let's take a listen. A jack of spades? Yeah, I had a whole system to keep track of things. The royal cards stood for weapons. Spades meant hake, clubs for Crux Lomar, diamonds for Amalon, and hearts. <laughs> well, hearts were for this girl I knew. What was her name? Uh, don't you have a stealth drive to find? Alrighty, so let's keep this awesome train moving. Head up the grav lift and kill yourself some baddies. Now don't scan the object just yet. There's a few things in here you can get. First up is a ghost. Look for the fallen banner hanging from the sleeper pods. You'll notice a big fallen tag on it. Jump towards it and up on the little shed thing. Look down towards the edge of the railing. You'll see it relaxing on one of the metal rails. Now jumping on that roof is only to give you a point of view. So you can see that little light beaming out of it. It's not actually up there but you will be able to see it from there and you'll know where to jump to grab it. One of the coolest things about this area is what I like to call the Frozen Chief. On the same shed slash rooftop area I told you to jump to see the ghost, listen for the scan sound your ghost makes and look towards the stasis pods. You can scan one of these. Listen to what it says.
Pod number 10201. A guardian with exceptional light sealed himself inside. He's been in there for centuries. Before I found you, I tried to resurrect him, but he preferred to sleep. He said the last war was enough for a thousand lifetimes. Pretty cool, huh? There's speculation that Bungie is hinting towards this being the Master Chief from the Halo series. Now, it's not confirmed, but it does fit. Who do you guys think it is? Let me know in the comments down below. And finally, let's go ahead and end our adventure. But before you do, you can scan the cloaking device and look to the floor, and you'll see your final card chillaxin on the ground. Now that you know the whole story of these cards, you know why it's there. And that's it, Guardians. I hope I told y'all a little something you didn't know before. Hop in there and check it out. The game is full of surprises for those who are willing to look for them. If you see something, or if I missed anything, any hidden secrets, anything, tell me. Let me know. Let's start figuring them out. As always, if you're watching this right here, right now, then I cannot think of someone more badass than you. This is your man Sly, popping off.